bringing Craig Fugate right now. He's the former FEMA administrator, served from 2009 to 2017. You're in Gainesville right now, Mr. Fugate. Thanks for joining us right now. Talk about kind of the lessons that you learned from your experience and how they can apply here. Well, I think you're already seeing that is after Katrina, we learned FEMA can't wait till the governor makes formal requests. So Brock and his team have been moving stuff. They've had people in the state EOC working as one team. But the other important lesson we've learned is we can't build it back the way it was. We're going to see tremendous devastation, but this will be an opportunity to build back for future risk. We've got to be smart about these investments because these disasters are getting to the point where it's going to start reaching the point we can't keep paying for them the same way. Well, you know, we um, may be seeing the benefit of that right now in Miami. As hard as they're getting hit by those huge winds right now, all the changes in building codes and building regulations after Hurricane Andrew have made a difference. They are making a difference, and we're going to see exactly how much difference as we look at older construction versus new. But I need to tell you about another area we're not talking about that's very vulnerable. We have large manufactured housing populations, many of those retirement communities, as you start moving into central and north Florida. They're all under high wind, hurricane force winds, and tornado warnings. So as much as we talk about the storm surge, we got a lot of people in wind and tornado areas that have been ordered to evacuate. As that moves north, we're going to see those impacts increase as well. you got multiple dangers, right? Now you've got hurricane force winds, you've got the possibility of tornadoes, and it cannot be emphasized enough this concern about storm surge. Yeah, storm surge is water is the historically big killer in these hurricanes. That's why, again, I heard you talking to folks that are staying on their boats. We know that most of the deaths we saw in many of our hurricanes have been on people that have been out at sea or on boats, even in the harbors. That's not safe. Uh, again, death by drowning is what we talk about when we talk about storm surge. And you got to move to higher ground. For folks that are still north of this track, they've got time, but they don't have days. They've got hours. You know, Matt mentioned this deal this week that, thank goodness, the funding for FEMA has come through, the funding for this disaster uh, relief. But it does seem uh, you know, not the most efficient way to deal with disasters, to be passing these, these emergency programs after every time a hurricane or storm or earthquake hits? Well, actually, we were doing pretty good. Uh, Harvey and Irma are the types of storms we know we need supplementals, but we went all last year through the Louisiana floods in Matthew with the funding Congress provided. I think we had made success, but I think we got to continue to relook at making sure we have FEMA funded to respond to disasters all the time, as well as the realization it's going to take a lot more than FEMA to rebuild. HUD and other agencies are going to be the next groups that are going to need large sums of taxpayers' dollars to help rebuild from these hurricanes. Important reminder, Craig Fugate, thanks for your time this morning. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.